Take it! Oh god. This <laughs> for Doug. Seems he wants to know about my steering setup, so we're going to do a little quick overview of how I uh, put our steering rack in this. Uh, we got it up in the air on the lift, as you see behind us, so let's go take a quick look at it. Obviously, steering wheel. Uh, that's a solid three-quarter shaft going through. Uh, there's a couple bolts on this side holding in the uh, pedal block. Now, you can't really see it from this side. This is the whole problem with this setup. It's really hidden. It's really bad to see, but you can see that shaft coming up beneath the motor. That's the steering shaft going out to the front. Let's see if I get any kind of view. Oh, here we go. Way in the back there, you see those two bolts holding down a pillow block. And right beneath that, you can't see it, but there's a uh, universal joint going to that shaft. Let's see if I can spin it for us. Maybe that'll help. All right, you can see there's a U joint right there that spins the shaft. And it goes up through that there. Then obviously, on the other side of this, let's get the light up here. On the other side of that is another pillow block. So there's two pillow blocks up here supporting this end of the shaft. There's a U joint and then there's a shaft underneath. Let's go underneath and take a look. There it is. This is the shaft coming from underneath the engine. It's a two-piece shaft, so... Anyway, this is the shaft underneath. You can kind of see where it goes up to that other U-joint and into that first bearing. Anyways, this here is a two-piece shaft, so you have an outer and an inner. So this here shaft slides inside of this one. And then there's another U-joint, and it goes directly into the steering rack. Now, you see I kind of have it run right through the middle of my belt. So when I do a belt change on this one, i got to pull this bolt off and slide this first shaft up and out of the way so I can get the belt on and off. Fortunately, I have to do that pretty rare, maybe once every two or three years. Um, there's the uh, actual steering rack itself. Um, it's got some adapting going on there so I could get it the right lengths. I could probably make it move here. You can see that right there. The boots are broken on it. It's had a rough life. But there it goes back and forth. And you can see the mount right here. That is just a uh, piece of approximately 3 8 plate steel with two holes threaded for the bolts to hold the uh, steering rack on and then it's welded up atop to the frame of the tractor so hopefully that will uh, help him out setting up his tractor or if anyone else is interested there you go